Ladies and gentlemen, I am officially dropping Multiverse. I'm gonna stop playing this game. I'm sorry, I tried my best to keep playing it, but I just can't bring myself to play this game anymore. Now, the past couple of days, I have been thinking about Multiverse, and I've been trying to encourage myself to upload content for y'all, but for some reason, I just can't get on the game and play it. I've been playing the game off with my friends and stuff and I just don't enjoy playing this game at all. I just don't understand why. I've been doing YouTube since I was 14, since I was in school. I'm 21 now and I was doing YouTube when I wasn't even earning any money. I was doing YouTube because it was fun. It was fun to see people, you know, interact with me and you guys talk about multiverse and it was just very fun. And to this day, I, I earn a little bit of money from YouTube. I have my own job now and I still do YouTube content, but this is the longest I have had like in years where I have not uploaded any content for the past three weeks. That's like my longest vacation. I think the longest I went out for uploading no content has been maybe like five days, but it's been like three weeks now. It's been almost a whole month. And that's because Multiverse, it, it feels like it's just not the game for me. And I've been thinking, I've been thinking, I'm like, why am I playing this fucking trash game, bro? Like why? And listen, I gave this game a chance. I really did, man. This game's been out for how many months like Three to four months, I think. And the game was just not, how it was supposed to be or how I expected it to be. It's nowhere near like it was in the beta. The beta was so much more fun, so much more faster, way more combos. It felt really nice. Like, yeah, it had its problems in the beta, but like for this game to be gone for a whole year since the beta and to come back and it has basically the same problems and certain features weren't even there. It's just like, why was the game even gone for a whole year if you guys didn't do shit? My, like, it, it really pisses me off because I expected so much more from this game, man. I expected so much more and we just got this. Like, we expected more. You understand? Like, you guys had a whole year. We expected more. And even now, the game isn't, it isn't there, man. Like, every single time I play online, every single time, it feels like the people that are fighting just doesn't have any skills. It feels like you basically win if you have a better character. Like, yeah, you have a chance of winning with a low tier, but just having a higher tier character or a broken character wins you games. And it's just so unfair because, you know, I go in the rank with Jake, right? And I'm having the best time of my life, having a good day. And then the next day, you know, I get, you know, matches with Joker, um, Samurai Jack, Wonder Woman, and I'm like, oh, well, this is the day where I'm just gonna be melted, slamming my desk. Like, look at this, bro. Look at this. Like, if your character's a low tier in the old beta, you can make them a high tier in the old beta. In this game, your character's a low tier, it's staying a low tier. I'm on my PlayStation. I got both PC and PlayStation. Bro, they took out everything that this game had. Like, the potential this game had in the beta was incredible. It had the movement. It had incredible combos. It had tech. This game has no attack delay. People could just spam moves. Like, it feels like I'm playing a Coco Melon game, bro. It feels like I'm playing, like, a Disney Channel game. Like, every character is so easy to play. You can literally just play a character for, like, an hour or two, and you're already master the character. There's no more you have to do. You're gonna be hitting combos every single game. Like, it, it, it's, like, no skill. Like, imagine playing, like, Mortal Kombat or Tekken, and you've been practicing a combo. You know when you go to online and you're playing against high-tier players, you gotta pray to God that you're gonna be hitting those fucking big combos. But in Multiverse, the big combos are, like, four-hit moves, and then that's it. You got the big combo. Like, GG. But the game is just not the fucking same. Also, I still hate um, Steven Universe. I'm not buying this character. I have the money to buy him. Fuck this bitch. Another thing is how incredibly hard it is to unlock characters. Bro, I bought the, I bought the Multiverse pack. Like, I got all the characters, right? I, I don't have a problem with it. I never experienced that problem. But my friends, bro, have been playing for hours, bro. They've been playing the game for hours. They probably have 200 hours on the game, just like me. And they can't even unlock more than three characters in 200 hours. It's crazy the amount of fucking 
time you gotta put on this game just for a character you don't even know if you're gonna like. Like, it is horrible, man. And look, look, I think in this game I have around 239 hours on just the console version. On the PC, I think I around have like 400 to 500 hours. So combined, like, listen, bro, I've been grinding and I can tell you this game is shit. And Multiverse, like, the company weren't, like, it's just so bad, bro. Like, this company likes to just follow and listen to the casual players and never listen to the players that have hours and hours into this game. This is why this game has such horrible balancing and why some characters are just so OP over others. Like, when there's tech for a certain character and he's a low tier and he's becoming a high tier, casual players will be like, yo, he's not Bugs Bunny, nerf the character, this character is ridiculous. And they would listen and ban the character and then you can't even touch the character again no i'm telling you like this company to stop listening to casual players i understand casual players is what warner burst wants but you also need to listen to the pro players man in every fighting game there's going to be problems and people are going to complain i understand that but you can't always just say yes like sometimes you're gonna be like you know what we're keeping it stop fucking complaining and you know damn where you're gonna still keep playing our game just because lebron james or i mean bugs bunny lost five percent combos or like lost less damage doesn't mean you're gonna drop the game like there's certain things where you have to put your foot down also the characters in this game is fucking horrible there's certain characters in this game and I'm like, why do we even have them? If you guys are trying to go for the casual players, then you shouldn't have certain characters in this game. Like, Angel Smith ain't no one want this man in the game. I'm sorry, no one want this character. Beetlejuice, I understand the, the concept because of the movies coming out. I understand, but like, I'm pretty sure most people didn't want Beetlejuice. And I've been playing the game non- I've been playing Beetlejuice non-stop. No one wanted Beetlejuice. What are the characters here? I think um, Jason was actually fucking fire as a pick, right? But then you have like Gizmo and Strap. Like, bro, why would you add these characters? Like, ain't no one wanted Gizmo and Strap. Um, Martian? Yo, most fucking kids don't even know who Martian is, right? Um, that's pretty much it. It's just certain picks in this game. Like, now, like, I'm kind of, like, picking now. But there's certain things in this game I'm like, why would you go this route? It just doesn't make any fucking sense, bro. So, yeah, I'm done with Multiverse. Um, just to lay it all out there. The game isn't the same as it was in the beta. The game isn't finished at all. The game's very unbalanced. The game isn't even fun anymore. And the game just feels awful. The game just feels awful. I'm gonna be going back to multi, not multiverse. Well, I'm gonna go back to Mortal Kombat. That was the game where you know I'm known for. I've been doing. <laughs> I started doing content on Mortal Kombat X with you know Mortal Kombat. I'm gonna be playing Tekken, um, Street Fighter Six. You know Terry's coming out, but I'm gonna go back to doing Mortal Kombat content because that's where. That's where I started, and even now, Mortal Kombat is just so much more fun than Multiverse. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me, but I honestly think Mortal Kombat is a, it's, it's a decent fighting game. Like, it's a decent fighting game. Multiverse is horrible. Like, yeah, Mortal Kombat isn't in the best place. Like, if I had to pick a game where I really would want to shine, it would be Tekken 8 or Street Fighter. But, you know, Mortal Kombat just sits right here in my heart since I was little. Multiverse is, is not for me. You know, I love you guys so much but this is the end of multiverse in the channel i just can't bring myself to do it i might might play maybe once in a blue moon if a new character comes out but it, it's just not the same but i hope you guys still stick to the channel if you guys can if you guys please make sure you leave a like subscribe and turn on notifications because this is a sad video man fuck man it really is like this is like it feels like a new chapter on the channel I don't know, it just feels like a new chapter is starting and a chapter has ended. It's just not the same for me. But peace out, guys. I love y'all.